Thank you. And it's with great pleasure that I introduce John Eric Karkula. I love Olivia. Olivia loves me. The two of us met in March of 2020, just as the coronavirus slammed into New York. My all-black imperious cat, Babylon, the Mesopotamian queen, had just passed away in the fall of 2019 after sharing a home with me for 24 long, wonderful years. I buried her in the woods of Damascus, PA, under a big stone near the orange salamanders with white polka dots on their backs. In the new year, I felt that it was time to bring another friend into my life and visited the Dessen Animal Shelter in Honesdale, PA. After several cats since childhood, after having several cats since childhood that would never allow me to hold them without shredding my skin, I was committed to finding a cat that would allow me to hold them in my arms and rub their belly. While at the animal shelter, I wandered through the cat room lifting various friendly cats off of the floor a few inches as a test to see if they would extend their sharp claws, which meant they would never allow me to cuddle them in my arms. After half an hour searching in this way, a petite, delicately formed tortoiseshell cat suddenly appeared from inside a carpet-lined cupboard. She walked up to me and brushed against my leg in an easy and casual manner. I thought to myself as I looked down, what a sweet little one. Who is this? I bent over and tried the lift test to see if this black and gold beauty would extend her claws. I was excited to see that she hung limply in my hands, relaxed and claw free. I then excitedly lifted her up to my chest and held her close. No blood was spilled. No eyeball lost. Then, to my great surprise, she snuggled her head into my neck. That was it. I found my girl, and that began our love story. The name in her adoption card was Olivia. Her age, three years old. History. Apparently, she once lived with an ailing woman who suddenly died one day, and now she was on her own. Five long days later, Olivia came home with me and joined me during the dark moments of the pandemic. We kept one another constant company while the zombies of Armageddon banged hungrily on the door. When a new president was elected, we sat together celebrating the moment. During the storming of the Capitol, she laid on my chest consolingly while I stared wide-eyed at the TV screen. When Russia declared war on innocent civilians, causing young soldiers, both Russian and Ukrainian, to be pumped full of lead for no reason, she and I shared the shock together. After the Supreme Court decision to transform women into handmaidens, Olivia's head rested reassuringly in the palm of my hand while she napped beside me. As a single person, during a time of extreme global isolation, my every day was sparkling with the presence of a loving being who was more affectionate than I could have ever imagined. At any time of the day or night, a mere look in her direction will cause Olivia to purr loudly enough for the neighbors to hear. For the first time, I'm able to rub the soft pads of her feet for as long as I wish. I'm able to hold her in my arms and kiss without limit the fur on her head and neck that always smells of sunshine. For the first time ever, I'm able to place my unprotected face right in the center of her furry, warm belly without making a trip to the emergency room. <laughs> in the two years that we have lived together, I've decided a number of times that I need no human. 
I am sure that I'm taking the easy road out now, but it feels so easy and right for the time being, so I'm rolling with it. Olivia brings me happiness each and every hour of the day. She always appreciates the obscure and bizarre movies that I select. <laughs> she is always ready to extend a loving touch. She's not fussy or demanding. I need only to sit down or walk through the door, and she is there to comfort and love on me every time. She has a soft gurgle of a snore that calms me as I fall asleep, and she is spotlessly clean. I wonder now, as I live in Calicoon, in the beautiful but sparsely populated rural countryside of upstate New York, if I will ever meet a human who will be okay with my need for minimalist order. <laughs> will I find someone who kisses my lips in just the right way? Someone who will go to great lengths to keep my home life commercial free and low plastic? Will I discover someone who wants to hold my hand and never tire of it or snuggle beside me each and every night blissfully? I am not so sure, but for the time being, my precious angel of the universe, my sweet face, coconut sugar pie blossom is everything that I need and more. Thank you.